Hi friends, I'm David from David O Yoga and welcome to day 29 of your 30 day yoga challenge. Today it's a morning flow that provides inner nourishment and grounding energy to help you find an inner place of calm, peace, and serenity. If you're dealing with stress and anxiety, and I mean, come on, like who isn't, right, at some level, this practice will give you a sense of much more space so that life feels less like a problem and more like an adventure. Okay, let's begin in a nice comfortable seat. You can sit with legs crossed, up on your heels, on cushions, whatever floats your boat, <laughs> as long as you feel grounded and with a nice tall spine. So lift up the heart, lift up the crown of the head. As we've been doing lately to begin class, we're going to work with a calming breath and a mudra, which is a hand position that cultivates a, a particular energy. And in this case, we're working with Mira Mudra. And Mira Mudra helps to provide inner nourishment. It gives us a sense of calm and peace and serenity. And on a physical level, it helps to relax and deepen the breath. So it draws the breath deep into the low belly, the low um, back, and into the sacrum. And this brings a balancing energy to the sacral chakra, which adds to the sense of calm and serenity, okay? All right, so to make Mira Mudra, you bring the tips of the pinkies and the thumbs together, and then you join the tips of both hands, of those fingers, and the ring fingers come together. The other fingers just spread wide, okay? And then you lay Mira Mudra in your lap, just above the sacrum. All right, close your eyes. And take a few big full breaths in through the nose and out through your nose. Allow yourself to relax and settle into each breath more and more. And just hold the mudra softly. Notice if you're tensing or gripping, relax into it. Almost let the mudra float above your lap or on your lap. With each exhale, feel a sense of release, letting go tension in the scalp. Relax into your forehead and your brow. And relax your eyes and your cheeks. And then relax into your jaw, your tongue. Every exhale, feel any tension or tightness in the jaw, the muscles of the face dissolving into your breath as you find a place of deeper stillness. Now begin to draw the breath deeper into the low belly. Feel the low belly rise as you inhale. And relax the belly as you exhale. And continue breathing like this, letting the breath come all the way down into the low belly and the low back, into the hips and the sacrum. Feel this whole area washed with the breath. And now let's say this silent mantra together. I breathe in the sky, the oceans, the forests, the mountains. Each breath I take nourishes, replenishes, and connects me to all of creation. I open myself to experience this connection more deeply. Again, I breathe in the sky, the oceans, the forests, 
the mountains. Each breath I take nourishes, replenishes, and connects me to all of creation. I open myself to experience this connection more deeply. Let's take a couple more breaths, relax, and just let yourself feel. Slowly blink your eyes open, release the mudra. Just open and close the hands a couple times, roll the wrists. And then let's open the hips a little bit. So bring the soles of the feet together and draw the heels in toward the sit bones just enough so you feel the hips opening, but um, not too much, right? You, you find your own position for the heels. And then thumbs to the base of the big toe mounds, and then open the soles of the feet like a book, pressing the outsides of the thighs down to the mat. And as you do, root the sit bones, lift up tall through the heart, through the crown of the head, and breathe. And continue gently pushing the outsides of the thighs down to the mat and pushing the outside edges of the feet together. A couple more breaths. You can push the heart forward a little bit here. Continue to lengthen through the spine. And close your eyes, relax into it. And then now as you exhale, very gently round through the upper back and begin to draw your nose toward your toes. But this is a gentle movement here. You're not pulling with the hands. You're just letting the weight of your head and gravity do the work as you round through the upper back. And this helps to decompress the spine. So breathe into that sensation of the spine lengthening, opening, As you inhale, rise up. All right, extend both legs long on the mat. Feet about hip distance apart. Little Paschimottanasana to warm up. Flex your feet. Root the sit bones down. And just begin to walk the hands forward, letting your heart lead the way, reaching your heart and the crown of the head forward. And then as you feel the stretch, maybe hang out there for a few. You can round gently through the upper back. And as you continue to fold, begin to internally rotate the legs. So turn the knees in softly, gently, and spread the sit bones apart on the mat as you continue to fold and just find your fullest expression. Again, nice and easy here. You want to be gentle. Find that place where it feels like you're getting a good stretch, but you're not. You're still finding ease and space in the low back. and push down through the backs of the hamstrings and the calves as you continue to spread the sit bones apart. Inhale, rise, let's counter stretch, alter pose, hands and feet come down, bend into the knees, press into the hands and feet, lift the hips and let your head fall back. Take a great big breath in Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Lower your sit bones and sweep your legs around behind you. And let's find tabletop. From tabletop, let's work through a few mindful cat cows. So wrap the elbows in, grip the mat, push the heart forward, draw the shoulders back, and exhale round and flex through the upper back. Push the pubic bone forward. Back and forth we go like this. Heart forward, shoulders back. Round and flex, draw the navel in and push the pubic bone forward. And now you can begin to move at your own pace here. If it feels fun and energizing to pick up the pace, do that. If it feels better to go slow, do that. Feel this big, beautiful wave shape rippling through the upper back. So we're training our 
body to integrate breath and movement, to integrate the core and the upper back, all really important things that guide our practice. And as you exhale, come to stillness, curl the toes, lift the hips and push back to downward dog. Let's take a few breaths here, pedal the feet, bend one knee, draw opposite heel down. And now coming to stillness, let's build a nice strong base for our downward dog. So wrap the elbows in gently, bringing more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. And lift the tailbone, draw the navel in. Let your heels draw down toward the mat and push the thigh bones toward the back wall. And then an internal rotation of the legs here as well. So gently turn the knees in and the heels out so that the heels are hidden behind the toes. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. <sighs> Bring your feet together. Take your right heel up to the sky. Extend through the heel. Draw knee into nose. Squeeze it in. Shift forward into plank pose. Keep hugging the knee into the chest and step through between your hands. Peel your right hand up to the sky, revolved lunge. And reach through the right fingertips as you draw the left shoulder away from the bottom ear. Bring that right hand down, back to a low lunge, and step the back foot forward to meet your front foot. Let's take a bow, fold. You can bend gently into the knees here. And then slowly straighten the legs, get a little stretch in the hamstrings. Bend back into the knees, roll up the spine nice and slow. Inhale, reach into the sky, great big breath. Palms come together overhead and draw hands to your heart, Anjali Mudra. Close your eyes and just rest here for a moment, feeling present, alive, awake, energized. Great big breath in, blink your eyes open, reach up. And then swan dive, empty the breath, release. Halfway lift. Step back into plank pose, a nice long, strong plank. Wrap the elbows in, bringing more weight to the index fingers and thumbs. And then begin to press into the earth, extending the arms. And feel the upper back lift a little bit. So it's like a little baby cat shape in the upper back. Keeping that nice, strong shape, draw the navel in. And as slow as you can, lower all the way down to your belly for cobra pose. Untuck the toes, slide the hands back. Press into the heels of the hands and lift your heart. Push the heart forward. Draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lower. Hips to heels, child's pose. And come forward into tabletop. Curl the toes and lift your hips. Downward dog. Feet together. Take your right heel up to the sky. Nice and high. Really push through that lifted heel. And then knee to nose. Squeeze it in. Shift it forward into plank pose, hugging the knee into the chest so the knee is floating. Step through between your hands and peel your left hand up to the sky. Revolved lunge. Extend through the left fingertips as you look up to that top hand. And bring the left hand down, low lunge. Step the back foot forward to meet the front foot. This time, Padangustasana. Peace fingers, grab the big toes. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Again, you can start with the knee slightly bent here. And working to straighten them as you feel the stretch up the back lines of the legs. Little internal rotation of the legs here as you fold so the sit bones spread apart as you deepen into the fold. Bend into the knees, release the toes and wave up your spine nice and slow. As you inhale, reach into the sky and let's find a nice strong chair pose, Utkatasana. Root into all four corners of the feet and as you relax into it, begin to shift back a little bit more weight into the heels here. Breathe, relax, soften. As you inhale, rise up one leg mountain pose. So lift that left knee, extend the left leg, point the toes, and then float that left foot all the way back to crescent lunge. Nice, strong, deep crescent lunge here. Deep bend in the front knee, and the back leg is long and strong. Big breath, reach up, and as you exhale, spin the back heel down, open warrior two. Toe heel, front foot a little to the right here, so the front heel and the back arch are aligned, and then open up the front knee just a little bit so you can see the big toe barely visible inside the knee. Breathe, relax the shoulders. 
Inhale, straighten the front leg, turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat, reach up to the sky, and as you exhale, we fold forward. Prasarita Padatanasana, wide leg forward fold. Hands come down to the mat, shoulder distance apart, and begin to walk your fingers back in line with the toes. Let gravity pull the crown of your head toward the earth. You can stay here, or if it feels good, grab the outsides of the ankles and pull your heart back a little bit toward the thighs, letting the head draw down toward earth. As you inhale, come up halfway, and then turn over that left shoulder, so low lunge facing the back of the mat. Take your front foot back and up to the sky, three-legged dog, bend the knee and stack the hips wide open. Draw the left knee forward to the left tricep. Touch way up on the top of the tricep near the armpit, and then sweep the left knee across the front of the body to the right tricep. Touch and hold. Inhale, take the left heel back up to the sky, three-legged dog. As you exhale, float the left foot down and wave your body forward to plank pose. Let's hold plank for a moment here. Again, press into the earth, dome through the upper back, draw the navel in. And this time, lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra, lift the heart, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the hips and push back, downward dog, nice work. Feet together, take your right heel up to the sky, nice and high. Knee to nose, squeeze it in, shifting forward, keep hugging the knee into the chest, hovering the knee, and step through between your hands, low lunge. Wing the arms back, lift your heart off the front thigh, and then inhale, take your hands up to the sky, crescent lunge, beautiful. We're facing the back of the mat in crescent lunge. Spin the back heel down, open, warrior two. Again, relax the shoulders, roll to the outside edge of the back foot, and open up that front knee a little bit, so the knee is tracking over the second toe, pointing straight ahead. As you inhale, straighten the front leg, turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat, this time, interlace the hands behind your low back. Draw the knuckles down. Lift your heart. Big breath in and exhale. We fold forward into another wide leg forward fold, but this time the hands are bound and we're opening up the shoulders. Let your bound hands pull forward and down. Feel gravity pulling on them, opening up the shoulders. And rock a little weight into the balls of the feet. So rocking forward, stack the hips over the ankles breathe. As you inhale, release the hands, come up to a halfway lift, turn over the left shoulder into a low lunge facing the front of the mat. From here, we glide forward into warrior three, palms to the heart, lift the right heel and dip the right hip. Holding the hips and the chest square to the earth, breathe. Staying balanced on that left foot, let's rise up slowly into one leg mountain pose. Left hand comes to the hip and right hand comes to the knee. You can stay there or you can grab the big toe and extend that leg long into Utita Hasta Parangustasana. Say that 10 times fast. <laughs> Root through the standing foot and lift up tall through the heart and the crown. Breathe, and now let's take it into a twist. So with the left hand, grab either the bent knee, if you have the knee bent, or the outside of that extended foot. And slowly take your right hand all the way back as you turn your gaze to look backwards. If you fall over 10 times here, laugh at it. <laughs> have fun, play, right? As you inhale, turn back to face the front and extend the left or the right leg, point the toes, hold the hands to the sky, and we float the foot down right into chair pose. Nice, good job. Relax the shoulders, breathe. Now if you fell a lot there, shake it off, right? Let go of self-judgment. It's a time for curiosity, for play, for observation. We're all about self-study here, svadhyaya. It's interesting. Breathe, relax the shoulders. As you inhale, rise up, this time lifting the right knee up to the sky. Extend the right leg, point the toes, and then glide that right foot all the way back to a nice strong crescent lunge. Take a moment here, find your breath. 
Nice deep bend in the front knee. And now, spin the back heel down, open to warrior two. You know the drill here, warrior two. Roll to the outside edge of the back foot and seal that outside edge to the mat. Nice deep bend in the front knee and then open up the knee a little bit so you can see the big toe inside the knee. Relax the shoulders. As you inhale, straighten front leg. Turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat. Reach up to the sky and let's take another forward fold here. Hands come down to the mat and you can keep them there. Walk them back in line with the toes. Shift the weight forward into the balls of the feet as you take the fold a little bit deeper. And if you have a headstand practice here, and that feels fun to you, you can take it up into a tripod headstand or just stay here with me. Again, option to grab the outsides of the ankles, pull the heart back toward the thighs, breathe, feel that beautiful stretch, opening up the hips, the low back, hamstrings, IT band, all that good stuff. If you're upside down, slowly make your way down. And as you inhale, halfway lift, turn over the right shoulder facing the back of the mat. Take your front foot, the right foot, back and up to the sky. Three-legged dog, bend the knee, stack the hips wide open here. And then draw the right knee toward the top of the right tricep. Touch and hold. Sweep the knee across the front of the body to the left tricep. Touch and hold. And inhale, take that right heel back up to the sky. Nice work. As you float the foot down, wave your body forward to plank pose. And let's roll through a vinyasa of your choice, lower halfway or all the way, upward dog or cobra. Lift the heart, draw the shoulders back. Exhale, lift the hips, downward dog. Nice work. Inhale, feet together, take your left heel up to the sky, nice and high. Knee to nose, squeeze it in, shift forward into plank pose and keep hugging the knee into the chest, press into the earth. Step the foot through, low lunge, lift your heart off the front thigh and wing your arms back. Inhale, take the hands up to the sky, crescent lunge. Feel that back leg strong and long. Press into the ball of the right foot. Big breath, reach up to the sky. Exhale, spin the back heel down and open warrior two. Again, adjust the front foot as necessary. Draw the outside of the left hip back a little bit as you open up the knee. Relax the shoulders and breathe. Inhale, straight front leg, turn all 10 toes off the right side of the mat. Reach your hands up to the sky and your choice here. You can interlace the hands, you can lift the heart and fold. You can fold into a normal wide leg forward fold with the hands on the ground or you can take it up into another tripod headstand. I'm doing the bound hand version here because it just feels so good in my shoulders. Just breathe into it. If you're in the fold, rock forward a little bit so the weight comes into the balls of the feet. And if you're upside down, almost all the weight pressing into the hands, let your core and the upper back do the work. Very little weight in the head. All right, if you're upside down, slowly begin to come down. Meet us in the fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Turn over the right shoulder. So low lunge facing the front of the mat and let's glide forward into warrior three. Palms come to the heart, lift the left heel. Woohoo! dip the left hip. Play, enjoy, little balance work, and allow yourself permission to fall, to tumble, wherever, wherever it takes you, right? We're learning, we're growing, whatever happens. Staying balanced on the right foot, we rise up one leg mountain pose. Right hand to the hip, left hand comes to the bent knee. That's cool, you can stay there. Or grab the big toe and extend that leg into utita. Press into the four corners of the standing foot. Lift up tall through the heart and the crown of your head. And then let's take it into a twist. The right hand either grabs that bent knee or the outside of the extended foot. Take a moment here. Find your balance. And then slowly we reach the left hand back. Looking back, find a smile in your heart. 
<laughs> Play with this wherever it takes you. As you inhale, turn back to face the front, hands to the sky, extend that left leg, point the toes. Nice. And now float the foot down. Let's find chair pose. Nice, strong chair. Relax into it. Breathe into it. One more great big breath. Exhale, fold, empty it out. Nice work. Halfway lift. Step back to plank pose, and let's take one final vinyasa, your choice. Lower halfway or all the way upward dog or cobra, so the knees are down or lifted here. Whatever feels better to you. And as you exhale, make our way back to downward dog, either lifting the hips or rolling through child's pose. Great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha. <sighs> Let's come down to our knees and find child's pose. Awesome, awesome work. Let your forehead come to the mat. Rest, breathe. Feel your whole body settle, surrender to gravity. <laughs> surrender to this moment. What can it teach you if you're fully immersed in it? And sit back to your heels. Sweep your legs around in front. And let's come all the way to our back for a little reclined pigeon or figure four. So left ankle to the right thigh. Flex the left foot and draw the right knee into the chest. You can interlace your hands behind the right hamstring or in front of the right shin. And close your eyes here. And let everything become soft and easy. Notice if you're forcing or pushing or grabbing, release and settle. Let the shoulders draw down. Feel the whole spine grounded all the way down the middle of the back to the hips and the sacrum. Just breathe. And as you exhale, release the hands. Let's do the other side. The right ankle to the left thigh. Flex your right foot and draw that left knee into the chest. Again, interlacing the hands in wherever it feels good for you. So behind the hamstring, in front of the shin, or you can keep, you can have that left foot on the ground. If you're feeling a stretch there, yeah, that is great. So really listen to your body. This practice should feel welcoming. It should feel energizing. It should feel like you're, you're you want to come back to it. And if you're pushing or pulling or straining too much, who's going to want to come back to that, <laughs> right? So just let yourself relax. Exhale, release the hands. Let's take a happy baby. Grab the outside edges of the feet. Push your heels gently upward and then draw the knees, pulling the knees down and toward the armpits. Let's take a little rock here. Close your eyes, breathe. A great big breath in. Open mouth, exhale. Ha! Ah, release into Shavasana. <laughs> Sabe tu varenya Paco te vas ya ti magi ti 
Yo yo na kachudaya. Sabe tu pareño Paco te va hacia ti magi ti yo yo na cacho daya Oh Shanti ho Shanti ho Sabe tu varenya Va Go Te va hacia ti Imagini Ti yo yo na Cacho da ya Oh Shanti Oh to bring some movement to your fingers, your toes, your wrists, and your ankles. Inhale, reach your hands overhead, stretch, wiggle your fingers and toes. Feel your whole body waking up to a new beginning, new possibilities for the day. Draw knees into your chest and roll yourself to your right side. And whenever you're ready, gently push yourself up to a seat at the top of your mat, bring palms together at your heart, close your eyes, and take a few breaths, relax. Honor yourself for showing up for your practice today. Let's close our practice with the sound of Om. And as we chant, imagine all of your friends, your fellow students chanting all over the world with you right now this powerful healing sound of Om, elevating our consciousness, opening our hearts, making us more mindful of the truth of who we are. Big breath in. Om. Raise your thumb knuckles to the point between your brow. We bow to one another in light and in love. Namaste. Thank you. I hope you had fun with that. I hope your body is feeling more energized, your heart is feeling more open and spacious and maybe a little bit more peace and calm upstairs, hopefully. (laughs) Um, If you enjoyed this practice, then please go ahead and click the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Those things really help to support me and this channel, and I greatly appreciate you. Um, If you'd like to keep this practice going with more of a cool down and a yin practice, rest, melty, then click the yin practice next to me and it'll get you going. Thanks.